What's going on guys? This is JT here. I'm here with the man himself, my boy Angry SA Gamer. What's up, brother? What's up, guys? It's your boy Angry SA Gamer. <laughs> I had to do it there. All right. <laughs> All right, so here's what's going down, guys. I just recently saw Angry's video, which basically broke down all the statistics of a hero in Castle Clash, and it brought to my head like, is that exactly right? I'm not sure. So I brought out the calculator and wanted to find out for myself, and it's a big learning curve for pretty much everybody in Castle Clash because they're very unclear with statistics in this game. Like, in my opinion, you should just have one stat or a separate stat that shows everything that a hero has, right? So we should be able to see yeah. the total health, the total damage, whatever you want, whatever the total is of that hero with everything included should be in one spot in Castle Clash, but unfortunately it's not. So what we're going to yeah. do is actually break down what all is going on. So whenever I watched Angry's video... One thing I noticed was he said that the number in green under health or damage that you see there, so the plus 37,268 number and also the 1,480,000, uh, what is that? 1,448,000. Yeah, yeah. 1, 000, <laughs> 1,048,805 uh, life right there. He basically thought that was your overall total, correct? Well, let me just add, that's the information I got during a live stream. And it totally blew my mind. Yeah. And then um, then I made the video and JT was like, yo, man, I'm going to blow your mind. And this is why we are here now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So basically, I did the breakdown too. I'm like, dude, I don't know if that's exactly right. So it really got to my head. And I'm like, you know what? I just need to take the time, break this down. And I wanted to show you guys exactly how it works. So let's go ahead and get into it. I got this calculator right here. So what you're going to want to do to be able to find out exactly how much attack and life your hero has is you're going to want to go to details and you're going to see this right here. You see the attribute bonus summary. Now, this is the overall total of all the attributes. Well, you might ask yourself, okay, well, what are the attributes? The attributes are everything listed below. And I'm going to go ahead and show you guys this right now. So if we add up everything below, it should uh, total to these exact numbers on the attribute bonus summary, right? So let's just go ahead and test this out. All right, so we got... Before you add, JD, I just want to say that this is also something I didn't know. JT just blew my mind with this thing that with you can scroll, scroll down, down yeah. by the details, which I didn't know. So that is what everybody's talking about. But details. this this details is also the same thing, whereas if you were to just go to the inscription level on the back of this Dove Keeper at level 100, yeah. it would give you these same exact stats, right? So you can find this yeah. information in multiple spots. I heard you yeah. say in that video, like all the things added up equal to this, but this is all that stuff added up, or in a okay. sense, right? So we got inscription yeah. level 100. We're gonna go with, let's just add up HP for now. So we got, 50,050990. Oh, wait, that's not even add. All right, so we got 50990. And that's going to be plus. So 50,990 plus. We got Crested Insignia, HP of 71,100. So we got 71100. We're going to go ahead and plus to that. Wait, why is that not giving me any totals oh i guess because i need to click equal at the end sorry i'm not used to this calculator all right so we also got equipment level 20 which gives another 29,000 hp so we type in 29,000, and then we're going to be still adding stuff we also got traits which is going to give us 15,000 hp it's so much harder on my pay to play i did this on my free to play whenever i first did it and it was like five things to add up now it's like millions of numbers it's like oh my gosh all right so from skins we got another 15,875, 15,000, yeah. oh, come on, 15,875. Now we're going to go ahead and plus after that. We got Destiny level 60, which is 61,800. So we do 61,800, and then we're still plusing. So we got Faction level. If you guys don't know, Faction is your Warden level. So if you have your Saint yeah. Warden leveled up all the way, you will get the maximum amount of whatever or whatever Warden it is. Dovekeeper just happens to be a Saint hero. So obviously my Factions are maxed out. So we get another additional 41,000. And this is the same for all Saint heroes. This numbers, All these numbers are going to be the exact same. So we got 41,540. And then we're going to go ahead and plus. And this is Breakthrough level 30 
which the HP from this is seven. This is so, dude, these breakthrough stats are ridiculous. Seven hundred and sixty-three. So we got seven six three five hundred. All right, so that is all the additional attributes. Now, if we add all this stuff up, this should actually give us that HP number, uh, 1,048,000, right? Is that 48,000? Yeah, 1,048,000. So if we equal this, look at there. It equals 1 million, the exact number, right? Exact number, So yeah. what that means then is that that green number in the plus is all your additional attributes. Yeah. So and what? You still have to add the eleven thousand to it. Yeah, or that well, we were doing the health right there. So yeah, I mean, if you were to do the damage, uh, yeah, but, I mean, yeah, yeah. So the what the attributes um, shows on the left side. So you got the speed, you got the attack speed, you also got the health and the attack. That is going to just simply mean that your dove keeper is level two hundred double evolved. And the way I tested this was on my free to play. I took a look, and my dove keeper after, or my dove keeper stats were the exact same, right? So anybody who has a double evolved dove keeper, level two hundred, is gonna have those stats right there: eleven thousand nine hundred and seventy attack, yeah. one hundred thirty eight thousand nine hundred thirty life. So then, in order to get the total life of your dove keeper, you'd need to add those two stats together, right? So this dove keeper alone, if we did plus, it would be plus one thirty eight nine thirty which is 138930. So the overall stats for this dove keeper would actually be 1 million 100 and, what is that? 1 million. Oh my gosh, dude. Thinking of these numbers is driving me crazy. Yeah. 1,187,735. All right, so now knowing this, here's my next question that me and Angry are going to be testing out in our next video. All right, so after we know all these attributes, my question is, well, what happens if you throw a tenacity on a hero? What happens if you throw a yeah. sacred light on a hero? Where do those stats go? And personally, I don't even know. I haven't even tested this out yet. So I'm going to do that right now. So I'm going to go ahead and change this right here. Oh, man, I need to have a tenacity. All right, let me see. Hopefully I have a tenacity. I don't know if I have actually any tenacities in my consumable, but I do have sacred light, and I feel like sacred light... How much HP yeah, does that add? Yeah, it adds know. life, but it also does damage reduction. I kind of wanted to have the most life possible. Oh, that's alive. No, no, yeah, you don't have. You'll have to roll for one. I could so roll for tenacity, but man, that would take a little bit long. I think I'm just going to use vital boom in this situation. All right, because vital boom does give. It still gives. Isn't it 120 percent? 120 percent HP. Right, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. All right, yeah. So that's a little bit more than Sacred Light. Okay, so now we have now level 9 Vital Boon on our Dove that gives 120% extra HP. And we also have this survival. Oh, actually, hmm, that's going to change up the stats all in all if I take this survival off because that's not the original insignia really that I wanted to use. See, so what I kind of wanted to test was actually put this here. All right, so let's just look at the stats overall. So, it doesn't change. yeah, that doesn't change at all. So we know that we're going to have to add in 120%. Now, one thing I wanted to know was, does that 120% go towards the base stats of the hero? So does that 120% mean that it's going to be basically somewhere around like 270,000 life after you add 120% to the 138,000 number? Or does the 120% mean that now this hero is going to have like, Two point what six million life, something like that. Yeah, Do you know crazy. angry? No, I've got no idea because it, it's not clear in the description of the. Uh... But here's how you test it out. Let me let you guys know. What you do is is you simply throw a life drain insignia on this hero, and what this is going to do is is every time our hero now gains life back, we're going to be able to tell where this hundred and twenty percent comes into play at. Because if it's, let's say if it's 2 million something, 15% of 2 million is going to be a lot more than 15% of 1 million, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this will be in another video soon for us to test out. I just wanted to explain the basic attributes of how everything was broken down. Angry, do you have anything else to add to this video before um, we jet out? I don't, Castle Clash is confusing. Let's, let's agree on that. 
So can be, can be, can be. <laughs> There's a lot of RNG um, involved as well. <laughs> yeah. So I don't, I, I don't know, man. I don't know. I really don't know what. I, I've got nothing to add. Honestly, I don't. Nothing know. to add. Do you? Uh, you fully understand exactly yes. the breakdown that I just I, broke down. Like yeah. That. Now, now I know. I have to add those two numbers together because that's what I originally thought. Okay. Yeah. And then, when I did the live stream, Malakrox said it is already added in the green it's already there and that's when i thought okay that is mind-blowing so why would it say plus yeah, yeah yeah well games can be weird so you never really know that's why i wanted to do this full breakdown so hopefully this cleared up some confusion with all you guys out there and yeah me and angry will be back if you guys are not subscribed to angry sa gamer make sure to do so i will be throwing a link to his channel in the description below for now guys we are out of here peace out see you